All right, guys. This is the first video of 2020. Um, I'm really excited to get things going this year. I got a lot of good content I want to put out. So today we're at my gym, Lexington Extreme. It's in Grove City, right outside Columbus, Ohio. Um, I'm currently sitting three weeks out from the Animal Cage at the Arnold Classic this year. I'm super excited. It's been a huge goal of mine. Uh, the plan is to squat anywhere from 835 pounds to 850 50 pounds for a single, or if I have more in a tank, go heavier than that. So this is my last heavy squat session until the Arnold Classic. So I'm really excited. This is my first time squatting 800 pounds ever. I weigh 198 pounds. So um, if I could squat this in a competition, this would be one of the top 10 squats all time. And it would put me right in contention for maybe taking an all time world record eventually, as long as I keep you know, putting in the work and staying consistent. So I'm really excited to show you guys uh, what I do for a leg day and let you guys see my first attempt ever at squatting 800 pounds. I started warming up on squats. Um, I always start with the bar. I'll hit about, um, I don't know, maybe like two sets of the bar just by itself for sets of 10. Uh, whatever I feel warm with. I might take a deep PVC pipe, go above my head, do the same thing. Uh, really get, kind of, get some blood to my hips and my legs, also my lower back. Um, I'll do a plate jump every time until I get up to probably about uh, 600 pounds. And then I'll jump to like maybe a quarter jump or a 60 pound jump. Then I'll jump to about 750 to 760, maybe a little less than that, and then 800. So it'll be plate jumps, about 90 pound jumps, until I get to closer to my top set within 100 pounds or less. Maybe at most, depending on 150 pound jump, 150 pounds will be between my top set and my last warm up, I'll make smaller jumps. Just so I don't feel as shocked and everything feels more fluent. So my jumps will be smaller. I'll do uh, probably up to about four, three, two or three plates without a belt. I'll put a belt on about three plates or four plates. That'd be uh, four, 415 or maybe uh, 325 depending on how many plates I have on there. This bar is a 50, uh, 55 pound bar. It's a little heavier than a regular uh, standard power bar. It's a squat bar. And then uh, also I'll put a belt, or not a belt, but I'll put my wrist straps on as, whenever I feel ready, about two plates, three plates. I just try to get gradually set into how I'm going to be squatting. And then also I'll keep my, uh, I'll keep my knee sleeves on up until about six plates, five plates. When I get to 600 pounds or more, I'll put my knee wraps on and knee wraps all the way up into my top set. So I'll do the knee sleeves until I feel it, the weight's getting heavier enough before I need to put wraps on.
Just got done squatting, uh, went absolutely phenomenal. I couldn't imagine, you know, 800 to move that easy. Definitely knows I have a lot more in the tank. So that was my last heavy squat until the animal cage, which I'm a little less than three weeks out now. So uh, now I'm just gonna back things down. Next week I'll probably go maybe like 700 for two, you know, some doubles, real easy stuff. Then the week, the week coming up to it, I'll take off, just deload, treat like a meat. Um, now I'm gonna take you guys through a couple accessory movements I do. I'll start a squat. I'm not gonna go too crazy because that was a lot of weight I just handled. Um, I'm just gonna pretty much get blood flow to my legs and just try to get a good pump pretty much. So that's about it.